morning, everybody. Welcome to Strong and Balanced. I'm Nikhil, and I'll be taking you through today's class. If this is your first time joining us. We ask you to speak to a physician or physical therapist. If you're unsure if this class is right for you. We'll start out with a quick warm up. Get ready for this workout we're going to have today. So we're going to start with some neck rolls. All right, you get nice and loose, nice and relaxed. You're going to bring your head around in a circle. Nice and relaxed, get you ready for the rest of the class, get you ready for the long weekend. We'll do one more, then you'll switch directions. And go ahead and switch. So now we'll come the other way. Last one. Very nice. Next up, have your arms out to the side. Do some quick arm circles. You're going to bring it all the way around. This one, I want your belly button in. So that pelvic tilt, engaging that core. And switch directions. And five, four, three, two and one, go ahead and relax. Next up, you can separate your feet a little bit wider, either shoulder width or just beyond if you'd like, you can rotate, you're gonna go side to side, get your torso warmed up, make that core. You can swing your arms with it if you'd like, sway your hips a little bit. Get nice and loose. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, our last warm up. We're going to do lower, gonna now add some lower body. So you can do it one of two ways. You can either step side to side, you can add in some arm movements with it, or you can add in a small little lunge behind, going from one side to the next. So either a small lunge, or you can go side to side. You can go either or for this one. Get your lower body moving as well. Get your heart rate up a little bit. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and relax. Next up, we're doing some heel toe raises, all right? So you can do this exercise next to something, whether it's a wall or countertop. All these exercises, you can do it with that support. We're going to go up on your heels. I'm sorry, up on your toes. <laughs> and then back on your heels, all right? So if you want to hold on to something, give yourself some support, feel free. And as you're doing this, your instinct might be to lock your knees. You want to keep them right nice and soft. That will help with the balance. And then keep your core engaged. So it's a pelvic tilt. So again, bring your core in, shifting your hips down. That will engage the core. Those are two very important parts of balance. Especially as you're shifting your weight from the front to the back, you're not used to that. So it might feel a little off at first. And with practice, practice, you can get better and better. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, next up, we're gonna get into our balance stance. So we have four, uh, four different balance stances. You can go feet together, or you can go one foot in front of the other. You can have a little bit of space between them. And then you can start to bring them closer and closer until you have heel toe, or you can go single leg. All right, so that's the hierarchy of it as it gets more challenging for each of those. So you're gonna get into your balance stance. And this way, you can have your arms kind of at a diagonal. You're going to look from one thumb up down to the other one, all right? And we'll hold it, and then we'll switch sides after. So this one, you're going to make sure you have soft knees, especially to turn your head from side to side. Being able to focus those eyes will challenge your balance even more. Get soft knees, engage that core. And five, four, Three, two, and one. 
that will switch sides. So even you had either the one foot in front of the other, heel toe or single leg, you'll switch sides. If you're doing feet together, you're just gonna switch your arm placement. So now other arm up, other arm down, and same thing, go from one thumb down to the other, looking up the down. And changing how you view that. And don't forget, soft knees. And this one you can also do next something, build that support. In five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice, go and relax. Next up, we're doing some side leg raises. So this one, again, if you want to hold on to something, feel free. You have one leg will stay planted on the floor. You're going to lift this leg off to the side and back in, all right? The goal is to try eventually without holding on if you're able. You can even do just fingertips, just so you have that support, that safety net. And you lift it off to the side and in. And again, this leg, you want it nice soft leg as you're shifting that weight. Bring that leg out and in. Again, engage, engage that core as well. Keep yourself nice and sturdy. Let's do three more, then we'll switch sides. Okay. Uh, and last one. Very nice. Okay. Now we shall switch. And same thing. You're going to lift it off to the side and back in. Actually right, going out. And then again, if you hold on to something, you can have your arms by your side, hold them up by your chest, cross them over, whatever's most comfortable for you. Okay. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. Next up, if you need a set of weights, so if you don't have weights, feel free to use anything as a filler, you know, water bottles, soup cans, laundry detergent, you know, rock, anything you can find to add a little bit of resistance, feel free. If you have long bands, you can even use a band um, as well by stepping on it and using that. All right, so we'll do either one of two exercises. So you need to do alternating side raises, so bringing this weight up to the height of your shoulder. And lowering it or so if you have any shoulder discomfort any shoulder issues instead of you alternating hammer curl so instead keep your elbows by your side bringing this up and down get up to the shoulder lowering it right down alternating back and forth right so again either do alternating raising this up to the side back down and switch or alternating hammer curl all right Both of these I want nice controlled movements. Even add a slight pause. You know, this is just a second at the top and the bottom, so you're not swinging this weight up and down. If you feel like you have to really use your body to move this weight, say if you have to like really like use momentum, swing it with the rest of your body, if you want you to go down in weight, that means it might be too heavy. Rather you have good form with this than use heavy weights. And only your shoulder or your forearm should be moving. So again, more the hammer curl. So by doing that, really use that pelvic tilt, engage that core. And you're going up and down. Let's do one more each side. Very nice. All right, place these weights off to the side. All right, next one we will be doing. So we're gonna go back into the side leg raises, but now we're gonna alternate legs. So you're gonna bring one out to the side bring it in and then switch sides, all right? So you're kind of like a pendulum going back and forth. So you have to go restart, bring it out and in. So you're constantly shifting your weight as you go side to side. Don't rush through it either. So once you do the leg lift, reset and go off to the other side, all right? Here we go. So we'll alternate back and forth. Same thing applies with that soft knee on the leg that's planted, and you want that core engaged, that pelvic tilt. And you go from side to side. And if you want to hold on to something in front of you, feel free. 
or even if you're holding on to a wall like this, going one from one side to the other. All these exercises, if you need that support, feel free to do that. Or just next to something, near it, so that way you have that safety net and feel like you like that there. Let's do one more each side. Very nice. All right, next up, we're going to throw in a quick hamstring stretch. So for this one, you're going to have one leg straight, the other one will be bent. You're going to have your toe pointed towards the ceiling. You're going to start to hinge your hips back and lean forward, all right? So this leg will start to bend, the other one stays straight, and you'll lean forward until you feel a stretch in that leg that's straight, all right? You can rest your hands on, you know, the leg that's bent. You can rest it on something in front of you, next to you if you'd like, and you'll hold it. We're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. And don't force any stretches. You wanna ease into them, all right? You might notice that as the stretch goes on, the muscle might, lo might loosen up a little bit. It might go through a little bit deeper. But don't force anything right away. Definitely take your time going into it. In five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of this stretch. Now let's switch sides. So the other side, same thing. Keep this leg straight. Everyone will be bent. You're going to hinge at the hips, leaning forward, stretching out that hamstring. And five, four, three, two, and one. And slowly come out of that stretch. Very nice. All right. Next up, what we'll be doing, you need a little bit of space. We're we'll doing some side steps into a squat, all right? So you need probably enough for, you know, two or three steps. You don't need to go crazy with the big amount of room. You need to step to the side. So again, you want a nice athletic stance. So knees slightly bent. You're going to land on the four foot on the balls of your feet. Take two, three steps, land. You do a squat, stand all the way up. And then you, again, three more steps to the side. Once you reach kind of your limit, go down and do a squat, stand all the way up and go over. And don't feel like on the squat, you need to go all the way down on the floor. Go as far as your range of motion lets you. So even if you're coming here and just a small dip here and up, go as far as you feel comfortable. It's all about your range of motion. So don't feel like you have to sink all the way down or do a big movement. All right, I also want you to focus on having the weight through your heels as you're squatting. So you're having your weight back and coming up. And yeah, don't feel like you have to go down all the way to the floor. As you're stepping to the side, again, you're stepping on the balls of your feet. And you want to land soft with those feet, all right? That's another thing to kind of work on as well. Instead of stepping and landing heavy, like this, want it to be nice, soft feet going side to side. We'll do one more down and back. And final one. Very nice. All right, now we're going to move down to the floor. So you can do this from either the floor, from your bed, a mat, whatever is comfortable for you at home. Uh, then we'll finish off with exercises down there. So we'll take a quick like minute or two break, meet back here and finish off with class. All right, so take a nice sip of water. It's gonna be warm out today, so make sure you're staying hydrated the entire day, not just when you're thirsty. And we'll be back here in a minute or two and finish off with some floor exercises and stretches. Thank you. 
All right. We'll start on our sides. So start on your sides. If you want a pillow underneath your head, neck, feel free. Use your arm a pillow, just lay on the table or your floor, bed, wherever you are. You have your legs stacked on each other, right? So the bottom leg, you could bend it if you'd like. It's more comfortable about straight, have it straight, but you could bend it. Get your hips stacked over each other. This top leg, you have it back at a slight angle, all right? So instead of just being directly straight, it's just angled back a little bit. We're gonna work the muscle a little bit differently doing it this way. So then you're just gonna raise it off the bottom leg or just kind of raise it up and lower it back down, all right? Turn on the leg. So you're gonna go straight up and down. Just like that. And again, make sure you keep these hips stacked over each other. So even though this leg's slightly back, you're still keeping it stacked over. You're not leaning back. You're staying forward. But this leg just comes at a, back at a slight angle, all right? And you're raising this up and down. You get nice control. If you want a bit more of a challenge, you can add a pause at the top for a few seconds and lower it back down. Let's do three more, then we'll switch sides. Very nice. Now let's switch sides and do the same thing. So you got hips that go over each other. Bottom leg either bent, you can have it straight if you'd like, but more comfortable with a bent. Hips that go over each other. Get this leg. Slight angle back, then raise it up and lower back down. We are coming up and down, nice and controlled. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, next up, go onto your backs with your knees bent. All right, we're gonna first go into a lower trunk rotation. So knees bent, you're gonna keep your legs relatively together. Your arms can be more up to your side, like directly from your shoulders. You're gonna drop your legs down towards one side. So your hips and your low back will come off the floor, but your shoulders stay put. And then you're gonna raise them off the floor and lower them down towards the other side, all right? And you go back and forth. You can add a slight pause at the bottom of that movement when you're on the floor, if you'd like a little bit more of a stretch with this one. And you can go side to side. 
and your shoulders stay on the table or bed or floor and your hips just move side to side. And you may not make it all the way down to the floor either. Your legs may only go a fraction of the way, say pause there, that's all right. All this is about is your range of motion, what you can do. Let's do one more each side. So we're going one, then over to the other side. Very nice. All right, so now staying on your back, we're gonna do some bridging. So your knees stay bent, you have your arms by your side. You're gonna lift your hips and back up off the floor and lower them back down, all right? So as you're lifting up, again, you don't, you don't have to bring it all the way up past um, that parallel. Just lift them up off the table or floor as much as you can and lower back down as you do this, all right? We go for 30 seconds with this one. Here we go, so you're lifting up and down. With this one, you also want to make sure you're pushing through your heels. And make sure you can, a good test for that is if you raise up your toes and you can still do this, your feet are in good positioning. If not, you might want to slide them towards your body a little bit. Don't want them to be too far out. Let's do three more. So three, two, and final one. Very nice. All right, next up on your back, you're gonna straighten out one leg. We go into a straight leg raise, all right? You have your arms by your side if you'd like. Just toe pointed towards the ceiling. You're gonna raise this leg up to the height of the other knee and lower back down towards the floor, all right? So you repeat this motion, raising it up and down. And again, if you can't make it all the way up to this opposite knee, no worries. Go as far as your range of motion lets you. You don't really have to go any higher than that. You don't have to raise it all the way up. Just go as far as you can, or so you reach the height of that opposite leg. And again, we'll go up and down with this, nice and controlled. And we're almost there. Do three more of this leg and then switch. And final one. Now we'll switch sides. Same thing. And this one you can add a pelvic tilt as well to engage that core and help protect that low back. And you're raising it up and down. Let's do three more. And final one. Very nice. Next up, we'll do a quick stretch. So you're gonna have one leg out straight, other will be bent. You're gonna grab behind that knee of the bent leg and pull it in towards your chest. Say so if this stretch is too much, you can always bend the opposite knee and pull it in towards your chest. If you want more of a stretch, you can straighten out the other leg and gently pull this in. Again, don't force anything. Ease into each stretch and listen to your body. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna switch sides. Now bring this leg in towards your body. Again, pull this in towards your chest, opposite leg out straight. If you'd like to bend the opposite leg, you can bend the opposite leg or you can keep it out straight. Really focus on your breathing as well. Sometimes in these exercises, it's very easy to hold your breath, forget to breathe. Really focus on breathing in and breathing out, controlling your breath. And five, 
four, three, two, and one. Slowly come out of that one. Our last exercise for the day. Go back to the straight leg raise, but now you have your toe pointed slightly out. So now instead of straight up, it's just slightly out to the side at a slight angle. You're gonna raise again, raise it up towards that knee and back down. So this will just work your quad muscles a little different. Same thing, 30 seconds. You can even have that pelvic tilt if you'd like as well. Engage that core. Let's do two more. Now let's switch sides. And same thing, here we go. Let's do final two. Very nice. That concludes Strong and Balance for the day. Thank you, everybody, for joining.